I've tried to film this video uh, three times. This, well, this is time number three. Bonjour tout le monde. Jennifer here with... Hey, third time's the charm. Best of luck to me on filming this jewelry video. Um, I, I've tried. This is, like I said, this is time number three. So this box has been opened. I mean, full transparency here. I've opened this box. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to put in a little clip of me cutting the box open and maybe dragging out the first handful of stuff. And then you'll see the rest of the video um, that I'm filming now. I'm going to show you what I'm not keeping. And oh, it would help if I told you, unless you already know from the title, that this is a five pound Goodwill blue box, a jewelry box. I'll show you what I'm not doing anything with, what I'm, you know, the stuff that I'm gonna kind of toss or put aside to take apart and, you know, sell in pieces. Um, I will show you my maybes and then I will show you my definite, yeah, I'm probably going to list this. And the only way I wouldn't list something in my yes pile is if I get to looking at it, photographing it and see some damage that I don't see while I'm filming. So there we go. That's the order of business. Thank you for watching and let's get you guys turned around. All right, you guys, here we go. We've got our five pound jewelry box from Good Little Blue Box. And let's get this bad boy cut open without cutting myself. <laughs> yeah, this little blade thing is sharp. Um, cut it off of Timu. And I like having it for cutting open boxes. All right, first peeksies, what do we see? Okay, see some stuff, we just see stuff. Um, so, hmm, trying to think of what I wanna do. I kinda wanna push it all the way back here in this far corner. What is, oh gosh, we will grab some things and pull them out. <laughs> And, oh gosh, y'all, oh, sorry. And see what all uh, we can get into here. Oh my gosh. I do this every time, y'all. I'm like, always acting like I'm shocked. And I shouldn't be. Because this is just how it is, right? All right. <clears throat> all right. So let's see. All right, here we go. Let me zoom you out just a little hair. Um, with my no pile. This is a ton of hoop earrings that were in all ranges of really not good stuff. And <laughs> just, yeah, just some sad, sad hoop earrings here. Um, but I will go through a couple um, kinds of earrings that I was sad that I didn't get the match to more just general hoop earrings with no matches and ones that really don't sell well anyway. All right, I was sad that I did not get the match to this cutie. Um, I love this and I know I'm still in the box but I don't feel like taking it out of the box. Um, this is the box that all of this is probably gonna get tossed or some of the beads might be taken off and put in a bead lot to sell to a crafter okay i was sad that i didn't get the match to that i like the mix of resin and wood i was sad that i didn't get the match to this even though it i don't know i don't know if that's acrylic or not um it could be but i was sad that we didn't get the match to it because i did like this style of clip on or screw back um a metal, black metal, um, like hoop, half hoop. I, I would have 
worn this pair like all day. This this pink enamel metal, I loved it. This one is pretty with the Marcus sites. I was sad we didn't get it, and I'm pretty sure it's a Monet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure inside it does say Monet in there. So I was sad we didn't get this. I have no idea what this is. I don't think it's a ring, but I don't know what it is. This goes to another pair of earrings. I'll show in a minute. I was really sad I didn't get the match to this clip on. Look at that beauty. It's huge. Um, this is something my grandma would have worn big time. She loved her big chunky clip-ons. So, I was sad we didn't get that. That's a no-name. Um, this one is real pretty. I have the missing rhinestone, but we never got a match to it. So, I'm just going to harvest this for its rhinestones. Um, no match. Here is a cufflink with an R, um, no match. And I believe it said it was swank. Yes, right inside. Oh, right inside there. It's going to be tough to see is swank. Um, I was sad we didn't get the match to that because that is screaming 80s to me. Um, this one, again, another clip-on that just sort of screams the 80s to me. Um, I would have worn these also just because they're just a little bit out of the norm. This one's really pretty. Uh, it didn't have a maker's mark, but we didn't get a match. That's nothing. Uh, lots of vertigree up there, but it's a pretty filigree earring. So... This is just like an ear wire with some plastic metal looking butterflies kind of sad um okay hold on let's let's take care of the gross stuff belly rings yay somebody sent me their belly rings nice um <laughs> you just never know do you again a pair that i would have i would have loved to have gotten these in a pair because they're mixed metal with uh poured enamel and yeah, those are my jam. I would have worn these big time. Um, just some kind of shell, like a mother of pearl shell and some beads. We didn't get the match. Um, oh. Hang on, I'm chasing this one around. No match to him. No match. This is the theme of this part of the box. These are cute, no match. That one was cracking me up because it's like they took a old filigree earring and glued it onto that. I don't know, but no match. This wanted to be a door knocker, but didn't quite make it there. No match. Um, I would have worn these. They're very 80s. Also, no match. Some more hoops with no match. No match. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. We've got this rose gold with the pink beads. Didn't get a match to those. Um, I will probably, we didn't get a match to this. I'll probably pull those rhinestones out and do something with them, like use them in something else. This as an earring made me laugh. Look how sad that looks. Um, somebody tried some at-home crafting. All right. Um, no match. I think I, I was kind of hoping I had a match to this because I think I have a bracelet that matches this, like a Talbot's bracelet or something, but no match. This, that is hilarious, and I don't know why it makes me think of Hardy's. But I feel like I need to go to Hardee's if I wear these. Okay. Do y'all know what Hardee's is? <laughs> I know it doesn't exist any, everywhere. Um, maybe Carl's Jr. in some places. No match to this. That feels like a pretty heavy like glass piece. This is glass right here. I don't know if this is real silver. It looks like half round. Um, You know, I don't know. But no match. And again, no match. Um, I was really sad that there was no match to this. Hold on. 
Now let me see if I can, well, it's not gonna look like anything. But look at that earring. I love that this little piece of sodalite and kind of a half moon. It just had so much going for it. I was very sad that there was no, um, no match to this because I would have worn these all day. All right, and then this is some kind of magnet piece. Ah, the lid's falling over. Um, and then this is just some chain. I got a lot of stuff with this this bullhead thing on it that says All Saints Spital Fields. Um, I'll you know I'll show you guys as we as we go through. Hold on. This might be a chain that I'm keeping just to see if I have a pendant that wants to go on here. Um, so let me take that out of the box, out of the no box. Uh, this looks like a nose ring. So that's a big no to the nose ring. And there we go. You see a lot of my nose. We got a few more nose to go through, okay? Um, that didn't make it into the box and stayed kind of in my light box. Okay, so. Let's, let's go with this beauty. Um, Coco Chanel, anyone? So we had this one Coco Chanel earring. Is it real? Doubt it. But it does say Coco Chanel, or it says Chanel, made in France. I wouldn't even know how to begin to authenticate it, but it's just... It is worn. I would feel like Chanel would be using some some better better stuff than this. So that's on the no side. Going in the no box. This, I think, guys, is this the lyrics to a song? Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. I feel like that's a song. Um, uh, but it's on Figaro Chain. And just in case you're unaware of what Figaro chain is, do you see how you've got, I gotta try to hold it still, three links and then a long link, three links and a long link in the chain. That is Figaro chain. So it's cute. Um, I don't know anything about it. And it says Erica Wiener. Yes, 12 year old me is just dying laughing at that name, but, um, Erica Wiener. Anyway, I don't know anything about it, so I've put it in the no, but I may have to check that chain. I might have to check it. All right. I was so sad that we did not get the match to this earring. Hang on, let me turn it around. I was so sad we didn't get the match to that. Look at this earring. I know the work that this took. I know the work this took to make. And um, I was already, I was ready in my heart to fix this if we got the match so that I had this beautiful pair of earrings. So this made me sad. That's gorgeous. It could, um, you know, this filming this for the third time. This is the first time I've thought, hey, this would make an awesome pendant for a boho necklace. So I am going to set it aside. I am. I'm going to set it aside. I think it would be beautiful on a gold chain as a pendant. Even though some of the beads look like they've lost some of their coloring, I think that adds to the character. So that may be what I do with that. I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm on film episode number three of this. Okay, this was funny. These cracked me up. Um, Let me get this one. Where are my 80s babies at? Look, we got some button covers. So, remember your button-down shirts and you would slide this over the button and snap or shut. This one's probably all been out of shape, kind of like me on a Monday morning. Um, But anyway, we got, this one came unglued. We've got three little button covers here. They're so adorable. I don't know. So that one I'm on the fence about, that's going in my I don't know pile. Um. Okay. Tie clip. 
We see a tie clip. It's beautiful. I think it's a tie clip. So it clips like this, but it's got this on the end. So I don't know enough about men's accessories to know what this piece is for. And I'm hoping that there wasn't something else that hooked to it. If um, anyone is more versed in men's accessories, especially like tie clips like this, than I am, I would love it if you drop a little education on me in the comments. But I'm looking on the back. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get you guys in here. All right, I'm gonna have to, I need to stand up to see if you see what I see. I don't know what that symbol is, but we've got 24 karat gold filled. So I will, I, this requires research from me. I mean, plain and simple, it's gonna require some research from me. Okay, so it's going in the, in the maybe pile. This is interesting, but I mean, it does show wear back here or dirt or something. I don't even know what it is. It feels like pewter. Um, I don't know. Brass, maybe, maybe it's brass. It could be brass. All right, this, here's that, here's that All Saints thing again. What is this? I haven't even Google lensed it yet. Um, but I thought, I thought that it would open and I can't, I thought, I really thought this would open. Does it open? I'm still, I'm still wanting to open this thing. But I don't know that it does. Like, I have been playing and playing with this, and I can't figure it out. These all look like watch gears. So I just expect there to be a watch under here, and I can't get anything to work on it. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'll Google lens it just to educate myself. Um, but it'll probably be a, a no. All right. This thing wrapped up in all of this random chain was maybe supposed to be an earring. And let's see. Let's take it off. The, yeah, I think it was supposed to be an earring. It's in the no pile. All right. This is in the definitely no pile. I think once you start putting things on that deal in, in contacting the dead, that you've just opened a doorway. Let's keep it closed. All right. Um, this is so cute. I wish I had gotten the match to this. Look at this little Minnie Mouse stud. It's not, she not adorable. So I'm sad. I'm sad, but maybe somebody with a second piercing would wear her in their second piercing. I think it's missing some paint, some of the enamel. I really do, like right here in the middle. I'm not sure, but she's adorable. Little Minnie Mouse stood. All right, uh, sad about this necklace. So we have these little birds. Let's get y'all in there. We got these little birds and here's the rest of it. This should have attached right in here and it broke off. So was very sad. I didn't find any markings, but yeah, kind of sad. All right, um, just some random chains um, that, you know, what, what do you do with this? What is that? I don't even know. So that's all of that's a no. Fabric tag for New York and Com Company something. Um, all of that's a no for me. This goes in a bracelet. I think a bracelet that I'll pull out in a little while. These guys, uh, they looked like they match, but none of the beads are the same. So what I'll probably do with this is take them apart, put this in my like bead container and so I have a container of beads that are either glass stone ceramic pretty much those you know those categories glass stone ceramic and I'm hoping that you know I can just sell it as bead soup to somebody so we'll see we will see um these are probably a no I don't even know what the, oh that's not supposed to be there it's just yeah, uh, no, nothing, nothing there. 
All right. This is pretty simple little copper cuff. It feels cheap. It looks cheap. Okay. Are y'all impressed yet? <laughs> Look at these little guys. I have a feeling that uh, these are marked and I have a feeling they are silver. So they're marked on the very top. I am not gonna waste time in opening these to show you that this like thing that maybe weighs a gram is marked 925, but I'm pretty sure these are like little 925 huggies. So um, I will, I, I doubt they would sell well, but I, I would probably list them, honestly. All right, so let's look at my maybes. I said we would do maybes next. And, and I know I had a couple maybes in that pile. It's just that because I've filmed this so many times, I, I don't know what end is up anymore. All right, let's go. This was my maybe pile. And then... I'm going to see my maybe boxes right here. Do this. All right. These are real pearls. Um, just a little stretch bracelet. Nothing significant, but I stuck it in the maybe. Um, this is White House Black Market. And it shows probably too much wear unless this can be cleaned. I don't know if it's just grime or wear. So I will try to like clean it and see what happens. And if nothing happens, like if it, you know, doesn't clean up, then it's a no, okay? All right, um, what are you? I don't know what you are. Why were you even in the maybe pile? Pro yeah, no, this is a no. I hate it when I see, oh, wait a minute. Listen, I'm already here talking. I got a tangled chain here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. One of them, it's marked something. So this is something, oh, is that say Sarah? I'm, I'm just going to have to look into all of this mess. And there was a point at in time that my energy just wore out and I couldn't do anything more with this box. It had one tangle in it that took me hours. Uh, I had to work on it for a little while and then leave and work on it for a little while and leave um, just for my own sanity. So, yeah. All right, what are you doing and why are you doing it? All right. <laughs> I'm struggling. What else is new? Um, my life is an absolute mess. Let's see if we can get this out of here. We cannot. I keep pulling the wrong end. <laughs> anyway, look, here's a necklace <laughs> with some kind of big medallion on it. And it is marked like this, which I know a lot of companies use that as a mark. Um, and that's the only mark on it. So that's an I don't know. That's why that's an I don't know. I don't even know why. Oh, I like this. I love this pendant. I don't like the fact that it's on cord, but I do love that pendant. It's just interesting, very boho. So I don't know why it has these guys on it. I'm wondering if it was attached to a sweater. I don't know, but I like that pendant. So it went in the yes. Why was this in the maybe? I don't know why this was in the maybe. Folks, that's a no. Um, piece of chain, no. I think I got confused as to where I was putting stuff. All right, so we got this necklace. These beads are plasticky, acrylicy, cracked. I think what I what the reason I put in the maybe is that this um, this clasp might be sterling. Don't know. So, I think I put it in there to have it, to check it, okay? All right. Um, is this really, did I really, oh, I know what I did. All right. Let's go here. Let's put these to the side. All right. So, we have, again, some acrylic beads. 
Um, faux pearls, definitely, yeah, definitely faux pearls. Do let's see. Yeah. Ooh, they feel nasty. Um, I don't even know why I had this in the maybe. I'm not gonna list this. And then a barrel clasp. So it's probably vintage, and that chain is so fine and so tiny. Maybe I put it in there so that I could double check it. Um, that's probably why I put it in the maybe. All right. We got this wooden bead necklace. Probably vintage based on this clasp. No marking. Put it in the maybe. Um, did somebody say that wood bead jewelry is having a moment? I don't know. So there we go. And while we're on the subject of wood bead necklaces with interesting clasps, here's another one. And it's got the same type of clasp. I don't know if they were meant to be worn together, but there we go, probably vintage. So yeah, um, okay. This is cute, I do like this necklace. Uh, let me get it turned around for you guys. It is dainty. It's totally not my style. I'm a, I'm a chunky jewelry girl. Um, but it's got all these little dangles and like um, snake and ball chain. I guess you could call it snake and ball chain. I just made that up off the top of my head. And some matching earrings. It looks like somebody tried to keep the set together. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Um, so that's a maybe. I'm going to see if I can clean it up. I doubt it would do well just because it doesn't stand out. So a lot of times I find that jewelry that is not branded, jewelry that is not branded, it really needs to be unique. It needs to stand out in order for me to be able to sell it. Other people might have different luck than I do or have different skills than I do. But with my skills, that's that's what I find, okay? Now here's, this necklace is no name, you know, more than likely some paparazzi or something on a Rolo chain. The colors are pretty, so I don't know. If I didn't have anything to list, I would list it. Um, this one I will probably end up harvesting unless I find some kind of maker's mark on it, but it's just all these little tiny rhinestones and it's costume, but I'll probably end up harvesting this for the beads, or not the beads, but the rhinestones so that I can use them in broken pieces. All right, let's look in the maybe box some more. Lots of maybes in the maybe box. Okay. I put that in the maybe box. I like the tribal quality of it, but um, no maker's mark, and the clasp is broken off the other side of the chain. Easy fix. The, um, got two of the same bracelet. I would list these just as one listing with quantity two, so that, you know, that lessens your work when you have that. So, the, and these are unisex. I do like having unisex jewelry in my in all my platforms, okay. Let's pull this guy out. This guy is in the maybe. This is probably, I, I wanted to say this was vintage, but once I saw this lobster clasp, I wasn't convinced that it was vintage, but I do like these beads. They're like swirled and they are acrylic. I do like them, but it's an I don't know because I'm just not convinced that it's vintage. Maybe maybe I could market it as retro and not vintage. Those interesting art glass, honestly, probably take them apart and just sell the beads. All right. And that's why that would be in the maybe. All right, we've got a interesting necklace here. with no maker's mark on it, but let's see if we can get it to where you guys can see it. 
Here we go. It it needs a good cleaning. It needs a good cleaning. Let me see if I can zoom y'all out just a hair. Okay, so you've got this little pendant with rhinestones in it, and then three very snaky, um, like antique gold um, chains. So I'll see how it cleans up. If it doesn't, then I'm harvesting it. All right. Let's look at this. They'll tell me if I'm right on this one. Isn't this called an Italian charm bracelet? Oh, I don't think that goes there. Um, when you can like slide the charms on and off. Isn't that an Italian one? All right, so inside it says stainless steel. And this says, I think, Pugster, Pugster. And this says, L'Amour de Ferenz. And another Pugster, stainless steel. So I think that's what that is. So this is a, I need to do a little more research. This is very uh, Christmas oriented, but I'll do a little research, see what I find out. Because I've never even looked into um, Italian Italian charm bracelets. I'm pretty sure that that's what that is. That's gross. <laughs> Look how nasty that looks. Anyway, on this chain, this chain is gross. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to try to clean it and do anything with it. I'm going to go throw it in the know. All right. Oh, here's the bracelet. I was telling you guys about that this stone goes in. Let's pop it in there. Hey, that was easy. Um, Might need to pull it around just a hair. So, oh, it's not staying. So yeah, I would pro I'll probably have to work with these wires just a little bit and get it to stay. I used to, I used to make jewelry a little bit like this. Um, so I can fiddle with it. I, I do want to check to see if it is um, silver. So a lot of times people who do wire wrapping will use full round or half round sterling silver wire. It is malleable, so it's easy to bend like that. So I'll check it for that. And I like the green stones. So there we go. That's like a little baby bracelet. Look at that. It's probably a no, but it does look like it would fit a baby. All right. Oh, wait, I threw it in the no back there if you heard me. Um, this bracelet is a no. It's not marked. It's very generic. Mm. Oh, gosh, y'all. Let me see what kind of mess I can make. Um, this is a no. It's, it's pretty much plasticky beads on a string. I don't know why I had that in the maybe. What's wrong with me? I think I got confused. <laughs> Story of my life. Um, this is probably vintage based on this clasp, but it's pretty insignificant as far as anything that I would list goes. So, putting that in the now. All right. All these sodalite chips coming off. I do like that pendant but this chain has seen better days. So um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I wanna keep this pendant, maybe put it on something for me. So, all right, can we get all of this sodalite out of there? All right, so we got sodalite everywhere. All right, so big old pile of sodalite. That'll go in my bead soup kind of thing that I'm hoping to sell. Look how sweet this is. It's a little ladybug um, stick pin. It doesn't have the bottom to it, but she's so cute. No markings on this, I don't think. I was trying to decide if I felt one there. I kind of feel something right here. So I'll put it under the loop to see if I see anything. But yeah, I thought that was the sweetest little pin. All right, um, what is this? What are you? Oh, it's a little unmarked necklace on another Figaro chain. Twisted Figaro. All right. Looks like the clasp is broken. So this is probably a no. Um, 
Yeah, probably a no. All right, where else are we going? Didn't I already pull one of these out? <laughs> Another no. Okay. <laughs> Lord. All right, this necklace. Ugh. Where's the end of it? Hold on, y'all. One, one end and another end. This necklace feels so gross. It just feels like it's coated with grime. So here we go. Wait, you two move out of the frame. Um, it's what four strands. So you got some chain. You've got some beaded chain, and the um, tag on it says Aldo Aldo. I, I don't know. I've never heard of this in my life. I'll see if it cleans up, but that thing feels like it's just got years of dirt on it. All right, let's pull some more stuff out of here. Um, those, that. Some of this is mixed in from another, um, another haul that I had some maybes in. I think this was in there. I know this was. I can't remember about that. Mm -mm -mm. Honestly, don't remember. I think this was in there. All right. I know all those shells were not. I don't think that was. I don't remember all of them. Oh, this one was. This one, that cracked me up. Okay. And this was in there. And there's a ton more sodalite beads down in the bottom of this. Just so many sodalite beads. So many. I don't remember about that one, so we're going to leave it in there. All right. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we got some more. Ah, that was my tie clip that I knew nothing about. All right. We have a chain. Not very long. Probably a no, but it does look vintage. Here we have a beautiful rosary. Uh, these green beads with an Aurora Borealis effect. And it's not, it's not marked Italy or anything cool like that. And sorry, I was raised Catholic and I do not feel right selling a rosary. There's just, I, <laughs> I just feel like God's gonna come after me. Just some plain blue clip-on earrings, not interested in, they, they wouldn't do very much. Um, I know I'm still, I feel like I'm still missing some bracelets. This bracelet is cute. Hold on. I know it comes undone. I can't remember how, but it does come undone, y'all. All right, I've already broken it, but um, I think it's got too much wear. Oh, there it goes. It goes like that too much wear, but it is cute. Another little bangle bracelet, too much wear, and just not a significant piece. These things, uh, like this fake pearl tie, it looks like it was dipped in black, you know, it looks like it's dipped, um, a broken clasp. So that's a no. All right. Um, Another multi-strand necklace like this. I love the colors. It's not marked. I'm putting it in the maybe pile, clean it up. Heck, maybe I'll wear it. Here we go, Canada. Vintage stick pin, maple leaf. Okay, Canada represent. Uh, I didn't see any kind of maker's mark on it. Let's see, oh wait. There is something on the back, hold tight. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, kids. All right, getting the loop out. Let's see what we can see. I know there's something written down there. Oh. Y'all. That says Trifari. It's a Trifari stick pin. <laughs> I'll sell that. Trifari. As soon as you put that word in a title, people are on it, looking at it. So, hey, maybe there's a Canadian out there who needs this. Okay. That took care of all the maybe, kind of all the maybes. With my yeses, we may run into some more maybes. Um, so don't be surprised if we do. Let's see, where'd my box go? Here it is. I want to see, though. I want to say that there was one more stick pin. Oh, there is. I knew there was another stick pin in here. That. This little cameo stick pin. Isn't she pretty? That came in here. It doesn't have the, the catch at the bottom. But she is pretty. So yeah, that was that went to the maybes. I'll I'm gonna change my mind about this um trifari and put it in the yes. And we'll put all this maybe stuff back in the maybe box. Alright. Oh goodiness. How much of a mess can I make? So yeah, this um this thing had a ton of Soda light beads just laying everywhere. All right. Okay, y'all. First thing I'm going to do is tilt you up so we can look at what is on the jewelry bust. Because I'm not taking this stuff off. Okay. So, in the tightest knot that I've ever seen in a jewelry box... We had some multi-strand necklaces, and this this four-strand one was one of them. Big old pain in the butt. It is not marked, but it is pretty. Um, this necklace right here, let me tilt you down just a hair. Doo -doo. There we go. I'm trying to do it to where I'm not making y'all feel like you're on a roller coaster. This is beautiful. I love this pendant. The, the chain has seen better days. It's turned into copper. There's no marking... But that is like, um, almost like porcelain or something. So I will Google lens this and see what comes up. Here is another one of those things that I kept getting a lot of that says All Saints Spital Fields. So I'm going to have to look all that up and see. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but that's all one necklace. So there's that. All right. Let's go through some more, um, some yeses. Okay. We got these yeses, and we I got some yeses to my left. All right. Love this. Oh, hold on. You're not even seeing it because I forgot to tilt you back down. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a little more light on the subject. As my dad would say, let's put some light on the subject. Um, I love this crystal. Look inside. I don't know what those are called. I want to call them dendrites, and I'm not sure that I'm saying the right word. I might just be making stuff up out of my head, thinking I sound smart. Um, <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, the chain that it's on is not terrible. So, yeah, I would list that. Very, very earthy. This, um, I don't, I think I have it out so I can test it for silver, but that would be a hard sell. This monogram necklace is going to be a hard sell, or even if I did try to sell it, which I probably won't. So monogram, you would have to have last name Z. That looks like a Z in the middle. E first name, C middle name is what it looks like to me. I just think that would be a hard sell, but there's a chance that all of this right here is silver and even that the chain is silver. So I will test it. Um... I love, love this dragonfly. Look at him. Let me pull, pull that up some more. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. 
Look at all those rhinestones. They're all there. He's got these beautiful blue eyes. He's even detailed with either legs or antlers. Ant antlers? No, not antlers! Ah! <laughs> How about antenna? Okay. And then I couldn't find any Maker's Mark on the back, but I love him. And I think that there's someone out there who loves dragonflies enough that they're going to want him. Okay. Mm. This necklace was cracking me up. I, this is just the cheesiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. So, um, you've got, like, oh, it's nautical as it can be with some acrylic and wood beads. So, um, uh, the girl who works at the ice cream shop in the mall in Stranger Things, I'll pop a picture up. That's just giving me those vibes. And I think it's because she wears, has to wear a sailor's hat. And there's the sailor's hat. This anchor, not, not looking 100% like an anchor, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, love this. I think that's a raw amethyst. It's not been tumbled. Very rough around the edges. So, um, I do like it. I like, uh, it's on like an antique gold chain. Antique gold tone chain. Modern piece, not marked, but I still like it. Uh, I'm itching. Hold on, y'all. Itchy, itchy. Okay. Let's do this one. Um, I don't think that I have this 100% untangled yet. But I don't think this is marked. It's a multi-strand necklace. Like three strands. With a pendant, a long... Kind of brassy looking chain or coppery looking chain. So yeah, I would, you know, I would list this. I honestly think this is too long for my mannequin or my um, bust over here. So I think I would have to actually put it on my dress form. So in that case, um, I would put it on my dress form with my dress form wearing like a white blouse. So I've got that white background going. And um, yeah. All right, let's look at this. I'm setting a few things off to the side. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can get you in. So you've got some rice pearls, little teeny tiny rice pearls, some um, black faceted bicone beads, gold tone bar, twist bars on this. It's a very dainty necklace, and it is. Let me see. I can hold this still enough to where you guys can see it is Premier Designs. Premier Designs has a following. People love it, and I would definitely list that. I have a lot of luck selling Premier Designs jewelry. All right, this guy keeps falling off. I gotta find his back. How sweet are these earrings? I don't know if I've got them upside down, right side up, inside out, but you got like little owls and elephants and hearts and shells. I think turtles, snails, ladybugs, snowmen, penguins, snowflakes, rainbows, unicorns, rainbow thing, horsies. I don't know. There's a little girl out there somewhere who needs this set of earrings. One of the ladybugs is missing a back. I will get one for her. And I would list these. Totally list these. I'm hoping there's a little girl somewhere who's like, oh my God, I need those. Or a little a mama who's saying, oh my gosh, my little girl needs those. So... I'll list that. All right. I'm pulling stuff from the left. I've got stuff on my table on the left. All right. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Some of the enamel is coming off, but I still think it's such a pretty pin. Wouldn't that be beautiful on a jean jacket? Like if you had a, a denim jacket, but you were wanting to make it look very girly and feminine, wouldn't that be beautiful? Um... Rachel over at Lily Works. I know she's got one of her denim jackets and she has a bunch of brooches on it and it just looks so feminine. All right. I was looking at this mark down here and it says LJ. I can't tell if that's an M or an N and a C. So 
let me know if you know anything about that. I haven't looked it up yet, so I don't know. But I think it's LJMC. No clue. But I do like that. I love the femininity of it. But that's a tough one. Say that ten times fast. It's femininity. Uh, my ear cuff. I might try to try this on just to see if I can look cool. Because <laughs> I'm definitely not cool. How about a ginger ale break while I drag a couple more pieces over? Wow. Okay. I gotta get going. Um, all right. Cute little stretch bracelet. Let me pull that up there. With a little Christmassy themed um, artisan or like glasswork beads. Lamp lamp work. Oh my god. Some lamp work beads. Anyway, I love it. I will probably keep that and wear it myself. Unless one of y'all says something down in the comments. Like, oh my gosh, those sell for a million dollars. Um, And then I'll sell it. But yeah, I don't think it would sell well by itself. But I've never looked into anything like that. It always surprises me what will sell. This, this girl right here. She was the culprit of many tangles. Many, many tangles. Hold on, let me move that out of the way. And let me get her laid out and pulled up to where you can see. Now, um, let me let's zoom y'all out just a her. Okay. Look at this. How cute is this necklace? You've got these little bows with marker sights. Little disco balls. I think all the marker sights are in here. I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, puffy hearts, rhinestone -y hearts. This bow came untied. I need to try to fix that. It's a multi-chain. How cute is that? Double Rolo up here. And I saw that in the giant tangle. We see Betsy Johnson and BJ. And I was like, oh yeah, I've never sold Betsy Johnson. I want to do that. So we got a Betsy Johnson piece. I'm glad. I think this is a beautiful bracelet. I think it's a bracelet. It's not marked as far as I can see, uh, but I really need to take the loop to it and look at it real carefully. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me move y'all in and move this up. Look at that. It just, it's gorgeous. So, I really do like this. It's got a fold-over clasp. Look at those. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. I would sell that. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got that tropical storm hitting us, and the wind just picked up incredibly. Here is another beautiful bracelet. All right, let me set her down up here. Isn't that pretty with the blue and the clear rhinestones in gold? Um, I don't think there was a mark anywhere on this. No, no marks, but I do like it. And honestly, my school colors are blue and gold. I would probably sport that. Okay. On school spirit days when we can wear jeans and a t-shirt, I'm over here in blue and gold rhinestones, y'all. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right. I do like this chain. Let me zoom you out. I got you way zoomed in. All right. I do like this chain. It's very unisex to me. I think a girl or a guy could successfully wear that, which I don't see why we gender jewelry anyway, but that's a story for another day. Um, usually when I see that clasp, I go, oh, yay, maybe I have silver. So I start checking things. Well, this one I checked and I was pleasantly surprised to see... 316L. Can you guys see that? 316L. There you go. All right, 316L. Jen, what's the significance? That is surgical steel. Surgical stainless steel. So, you definitely want if you have uh if you're getting something for someone that maybe has body piercings, body, you know, like in navel rings or well belly button rings any type of body piercings 
They are looking for 316L. They're looking for surgical stainless steel. So that means that this, this piece, it would take a long time for this to tarnish. A long time for, for I don't even know that verdigris could set in on stainless steel. I'm not sure. So this piece is, should always remain as shiny as it is right now. And it should not turn your skin any kind of funky color. I mean, guys, this is what surgery tools are made out of. And, you know, after surgery, they're run, well, they used to be. They might get thrown away now. I don't know what all the rules are in nursing anymore. But they used to get run through the autoclave. Um, my stepmom was a nurse. She used to take all of our jewelry to work and run it through the autoclave to clean it. So... I, I like the fact that we have this. I think I can, I think I can sell that. All right, I'm excited to sell that. Honestly, can you tell? Okay, uh, got a whole mix up here. Hold on. Uh, okay, get over there. All right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I promise. Okay, let's do this. This does not have a maker's mark, but I do like it because uh, it's just got that tassel. That tassel still needs to be untangled some. It's very jumbled together. Um, oh, wait a minute. Did it have... It had this. That might be, sadly, that might be the paparazzi maker's mark. I got to double check on that. If it is, I'll probably take it off and just say there's no maker's mark and sell this as a tassel necklace. Okay? Okay. This, when I saw the tag in the knot... I saw that tag in the big knot of jewelry. Y'all see that? That's the M for Madewell. This looks like the J. Crew clasp. I think Madewell and J. Crew are sister companies. I think. So it's this pendant necklace, but this pendant has a ton of wear on the edges. It just it just shows way too much wear for my liking as far as selling. But what I will do is I will check and see if it's supposed to look like that, and then make a decision from there. But we got a Madewell piece. All right, what else we got over here? Some of my favorites. We got some of my favorites. Okay, all right, let's start here. Look how pretty that is, this little pendant on this silver tone chain, no maker's mark. And I thought, oh, is this a locket? But no, it's a watch. Now, I haven't popped it out, put any batteries in or anything like that. Don't know if I will. I'll Google Lens it, see if anything comes up. But it's adorable. I like how Grandma Core it is. All right. This guy was the culprit of so much stress. This Alex and Ani bracelet. It's in pretty good shape. It looks a little not circle. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, y'all. Um, but yeah, we got an Alex and Ani. Uh, I think the date on it says 2014. So, Alex and Ani, everything. Every multi-strand necklace in this box was wrapped around this. And your girl here was using words. And I don't use that often. <laughs> Try to untangle that. All right. Now we got this necklace. When I saw it in the tangle, I thought, oh wow, is this J. Crew? Is this Sugar Fix or Bobble Bar? But it is not marked at all. A little bit of a Rolo chain here. And we got a lobster clasp. So, and it's not marked on the back. No marking on the back, but I do like it. So, I would list that. Love this. Check that out. It's got this like snake and this opens up. So it's like a little locket. I guess you could, it still is got the nastiest stuff on the inside. Um, and I keep messing with it. Just, yeah, I'm going to keep messing with it. I guess you could put something in there. Cool. A picture. You could put a picture of me in there. Um, anyway, <laughs> mark on the back. I am like giddy at this point. Um, is that BW? Is that BH? Is that BN? We may never know. But if you know, I would love it if you would drop some knowledge on me down in the comments because I don't recognize that. But I do like this piece. 
Because snake, you know, what's not to like? All right. This necklace. I love this pendant. Take a look at that. It's uh, almost see-through. <laughs> but how cool is that? I love this and it's so heavy. It feels so nice. Um, no maker's mark. It does have a chain. Um, well, the clasp is making me think, hey, maybe this is silver. I'll have to pull out the loop and really look at it and see if it is. I love this. I don't know why, and but I do. All right, this guy is just a basic gold tone chain. Unisex, again, it could be unisex. Um, you know, nothing fancy. Like, what is this, double Byzantine? That might be what that is. Anyway, um, I will look on here, because a lot of times when you see a round spring ring like this, you might have a fine metal in there. I'll look and see. But I also have a gold tone Sarah Coventry pendant that doesn't have a necklace. Since it's gold tone, maybe it'll look good with this. I'm going to put the two together and see what comes out. See what we shake out of there. And I think, okay, we got a couple more things to show. And then we'll get, we'll be done. We'll be done. Okay. All right. Check this one out. It's still tangled. Um, I'm going to have to like sit down with a couple little needles. Um, I usually use like either toothpicks or sewing needles. Not sewing needles, but darning needles. They're a little bit thicker than a sewing needle to untangle chain this fine, but this feels like Austrian crystal. Um, it's got weight to it. It's got an Aurora Borealis effect on it, and I love it. So it needs to be untangled, but I am loving this, this necklace. So um, I just haven't, like I said, I haven't really sat down to try to untangle it. It's gonna take you know, me just sitting around maybe watching TV and doing that. But I'm 98% certain these are Austrian crystals, even though it's not marked. Okay? All right. Then we've got two more pieces, kids. Look at this. How gorgeous is this necklace? And if you could just see, you know, really well how well that is shining... And isn't that beautiful? And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me see. Um, I think I gotta do hold it in this hand and work from this hand. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can you see the swan? See the swan? Is this Swarovski? Because if it is, it's my first time finding Swarovski in a box. Is that the Swarovski Swan? Please don't get down there in the comments and tell me that's Gloria Vanderbilt because then I'm going to I'm going to punch something. A teddy bear. Um. Anyway, maybe I have a piece of Swarovski. I don't know. I would love it if I did. Isn't that pretty? No, it wouldn't be my first time having it. I've already sold a piece of Swarovski. What am I talking about? And the last one, you guys, in the big knot deep in the middle of the big knot and it's in a knot itself that I have to get out um I found this necklace look it looks like a little bean and you know what it's called the bean necklace it actually is called the bean necklace very unassuming very very unassuming and when I got it undone I saw this I saw Zoom you guys in. See if you can see. Uh, I saw 925. And flip it over. And I saw Tiffany and Co. And I'm looking at that Tiffany and Co. And the letter spacing seems correct for it to be authentic. And there's a period after the Co, I believe. I have to check it under under on the loop. I think there's a period after that. So 
that was cool, 925 and that. And then I looked at the other side and I saw Spain. And then I saw Peretti. And luckily, thankfully, my good friend Brighton over at Brighton Your Day was explaining to me that it, it's either Elsie or Elsa, I can't remember which one, Peretti designed jewelry for Tiffany. Guys, I think this is real. I tested it. I tested the bean. I tested the chain. I tested the clasp. Everything tested for silver. It was. It tested positive for silver. So I have no reason to believe this is not real. I'll pop some comps up. And um, yeah. So guys, that was my box. I got Tiffany. I got Tiffany in my box. Um, some really cool pieces that I am, you know, happy about. I got Swarovski. I got Austrian Crystal. Um, and so yeah, I am. I got this beautiful dragonfly pin. I got Betsy Johnson. And I know, I know that, you know, a lot of times these boxes are a, um, kind of a crapshoot, really. You know, it's a gamble. But I thought that I got some really cute pieces, some fun pieces, and pieces that I'm excited about. So my $38, I got it. I'll make that back and, and more and more. So my goal is to triple that. I need to triple that $38. So what is that? I need to make 114-ish? I think I can. So let me know what you think. If you like this video, if you learned something um, please give me a thumbs up down at the bottom. If there's any knowledge you can drop on me, any comments you want to make, make me some comments down there. Say hi. Also, um, I would like to be able to start putting prices up on some of my, um, hauls and things that you could buy from me directly through like Venmo or PayPal. So I created a new email address, French teacher in VA at yahoo.com. Um, so that what I was giving out my everyday email address that I use all the time. And I was really, really worried that I, I was seeing that I was missing a lot of emails. Some are going to my spam folder. I'm not getting them all. And I feel bad because I definitely don't want to ignore anybody. So I made a new email that's linked in the description. Pop it up here down at the bottom, French teacher and VA at yahoo.com. If there's something you see that you're like, oh God, I have to have that. I can't let her list it. Then yeah, message me and let me know. Um, and then maybe in my next video or so, I'll be able to start putting up some prices and really work into that. So um, this is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for an hour. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm in the 630s right now, going for that magic thousand number by the end of December. Until the next video, I'm going to say, à tout à l'heure, see you later.